Hello, hello, beautiful souls. Welcome back to my channel. If you are brand new here, welcome. I'm Bonnie, Old Soul Mermaid. Now, this is this video is a, kind of a piggyback off of my recent unboxing of the Cosmovisions Oracle Kit and everything I got in the Kickstarter. And if you saw, I got this little extra. Um, in that Kickstarter, it was a separate purchase. It wasn't one of the freebies. Definitely not, and you'll see why <laughs> when I open this lid. But um, I thought that I would just unbox it and let you take a closer look. Uh, I think if it isn't already, these were going to be these kits and some of the extras um, from that Kickstarter campaign, as well as the Oracle deck itself, is going to be available on uh, uh, Mr. Eads, James Eads uh, website. And I believe this was on there. Um, I will leave a link below. But so just so you can get a closer look and so you can make a purchasing uh, decision for this Geomancy set. All right, so I'm, and I'm gonna preface before I lift the box, I have no experience with Geomancy. Something about this set called to me, said I should get it, and I did. So I'm not a proficient. I'm just gonna be basically looking at this, you know, so to give you more of a consumer view and to see if this is um, something that you might like to get yourself. All right, so it's a beautiful, beautiful box. This is like a chocolate brown with gold, and it comes with a really, really nice book. So I'm gonna put that off to the side for just a second, but this is important, especially if you're new to Geomancy. So this is the coin set. Let me see if I can get in just a little bit closer. And this is how they come. Now, this was a free coin that everybody got who backed the Kickstarter. And I, this will not, I believe, will not be included in the set. This was just an extra coin. You can see that there. And it doesn't even have a name like you'll see that the others do. It's just an extra collector's coin or you can use it and assign your own meaning to it. So that was for Kickstarter backers. So I, I just decided to keep it in here. Um, these coins, they're heavy. They've got weight to them. They're not, they don't feel like um, hollow. They, they've got some really nice weight to them. Um, you will see there's a pattern on the back as well as a name. This is Puella. And there's a pattern. So I know nothing about geomancy, so this is all new to me. So uh, some of you will know what this is. So there are the coins. There's, um, I believe here are 16 coins and they are really, it's they're in here tight the box is um the insets here they've got finger cut out so you can lift them up but they are really set in here tight they're not going to move around which is really nice so 16 coins and like four elemental the smaller ones are elemental coins so we're going to put this off to the side for just a little bit and take a look at the book Gorgeous, gorgeous book created by James R. Eads. There's the back. Fits the colors and the aesthetic of the Prisma Visions and, and the Cosma Visions, the, the Prisma Visions, Prisma Visions Tarot and the Cosma Visions Oracle. Um, it's a beginner's guide to geomancy, so it will be perfect for me. There's a thank you and an introduction. Um, geomancy is one of the oldest forms of divination as has been tracked down to Arabic texts from the sixth century. 
but it has likely existed much longer. It was widely used in medieval times and has since evolved through the centuries, gaining and losing public attention, yet still the bones of geomancy have remained in the same throughout time. Uh, this book is meant to serve you as an initial step into the world of geomancy, but if you wish to continue your journey, it should not serve as a definitive guide. Um, he says he consulted many books and sources while learning geomancy and as well in writing uh, the book. And so the book is a simplified summation of what I have learned and something I wish I had when I was beginning my journey. Um, then he goes in a binary system of divination, the basics of geomancy. The difference between tarot and geomancy was first described to me as this. Geomancy will help you answer yes or no question, while tarot will tell you what is happening in your subconscious world. I later learned that this wasn't quite so much the case, but it did help to understand the idea behind geomancy. What I later came to realize is that geomancy reveals to us the possible outcomes of a, quest of a questioned situation in the timeline we are currently living in. It is, it assumes that the in intertwined fates of this outcome are already in play and that and that is the truth of the future now while this does does put into question the idea of free will nothing is unchangeable if change is desired it can be created so interesting so he goes into how to use the coins here we see the four elemental coins um, fire, air, water, earth, and then the 16 coins. You can travel with them as manifestations as a general, or also as a general tool for learning geomancy. Um, understanding the figures. So here are the patterns that are on the back of each coin. And he goes into the understanding of the 16 figures. Um, what is interesting about geomancy is that unlike most other forms of divination, there is no set ordering to the figures. Some geomancers prefer to order them based on their elemental makeup. Others order them based on their planets or astrological signs. I have chosen to order them alphabetically for educational purposes. All right. So favorable and unfavorable figures. So he's going to go into the coins here, which are favorable, mostly favorable, neutral coins, mostly favorable and unfavorable. Very interesting. Stable and unstable figures. And then there's a chart for that. Geomancy and the elements. Oh, here. Fire is represented by the head, air is represented by the neck and throat. Could almost switch that, but okay. Water is represented by the body, that makes sense. And earth represented by the feet. Interesting, more information. And here we go, here are photos of the figures. And then you go into the meanings. So these are Latin terms, so I'm not good with my Latin. So acquisition, acquisitio, acquisitio, gain. The planet is Jupiter. Sign is Sagittarius. Body, the hips and thighs. 
fire passive, the air element here is active, water is passive, and earth is active. Um, here for this coin, it says, fueled by fire and air, the mystic burns with knowledge so immense that it must have been acquired from the gods. Acquisitio is Latin for acquire, but this figure is more often referred to as gain. Visually, the formation of the dots resembles two cups turned upwards or an open satchel full of coins. Uh, acquisitio is balanced with amicio and represents success in gaining something, especially monetary gain. Acquisitio is favorable in situations where gain is desired, but unfavorable in situation when loss is desired, illness, heartache, etc. It is strengthened in the ninth house and weakened in the third house. Very interesting. So you get an idea of what's all included for each of the coins. So let's go back and see what else is included. All right, so traditional geomancy. Uh, the terminology of doing a geomantic geomantic reading is called casting a shield. A geomantic geomantic shield pictured above is formed based on a query or a question you are asking. A geomantic figure will fill each of the 15 boxes. It's kind of like Lenormand. Um, in the shield, geomancy is meant to prepare your mind and soul for what answers it may reveal and to open your heart to new possibilities. Like all forms of divination, geomancy can be used incorrectly. Before you cast your question, make sure your intentions are pure and that it is something truly important. Geomancy uses a system of mathematical recursion to develop every figure in the shield based on, a, on the previous symbols. That means that everything in the shield is dependent on what comes before it. Interesting. Okay, so here are some figures. Oh my gosh, look at this. Lots of information here. This is the mothers. The mothers are the most important four figures of the geomantric shield and are what determine the fate of everything that follows. Place the four mothers that you generated into the house boxes below. Okay, and then there's the daughters. Okay, here. And then it goes into the nieces. So that's gonna be this line. The witnesses. So there's a left and right witness. And the judge. Okay. Looking at the witnesses. Wow. The four triplicates. The way of the points. So this this reminds me a lot of Le Normand in a way. And then there's a little bit about um, astrological ge geomancy and the houses. So there's a little bit about the houses, something about modes of perfection and adding to the story. He, there's a um, continuing your geomantic journey and bibliography and references. Okay, there's something I want to go back to. There is a, the chart with the unfavorable, neutral. Let's see if I can get this to stay. Okay, so I've got my, my coins here. Okay, so I took the coins out and according to this chart, I just, for fun, 
I took out and put the favorable coins here, the mostly favorable here, neutral coins, mostly unfavorable, and the definitely unfavorable. <laughs> okay, so just to take a look. So this is the first coin, and he did it like he said alphabetically, but um, do you see the little pattern on the back? Acquisitio, acquisitio is favorable. So there's three coins that are favorable, Fortuna, Fortuna Major and Laetitia. I'm sorry, my Latin. Um, and then in mostly favorable, we have Al Albus, Albus, Fortuna Minor. Let's see what they look like. Um, Puella. Caput Draconis. And then neutral, we have, I'm going to show you the coin here, conjunctio, con, conjunctio, yeah, I'm butchering it, I know, uh, puer, populus. Via or via Carcer Caser Again, look at the back. These have a really they're weighted, you guys. They're they're it's not cheap crap. <laughs> They're really nice. Amicio. Again, the pattern is on the back. And, and these two were the mostly unfavorable. Here we've got the definitely un unfavorable. All right, so let's look at those. Ooh. So this is Rubus. And this is Tristitia, Tristitia. And the last one in the unfavorable is Cauda Draconis. This is very cool. Very cool. So I just want to show you the little teeny tiny elemental coins here. Um, this is fire. They're so cute. <laughs> I think a lotus for water. This is going to be air. And this is earth. Now also, um, I got with the set is this bag, which I believe you use in uh, the divination process using the coins. Um, I, I didn't even know I was going to get this. I think it comes with the set. So you could store your coins in here, but I do think this is used in the process. 
in the divination process. So this was just a really quick look at the Geomantic Visions set by James R. Eads that was, well, that I purchased as part of the Kickstarter for the Cosmovisions Oracle, but I believe this set will be um, available for purchase by itself. Um, the website said in March, uh, if there is a link, I will leave it below. And um, basically, like I said, I know nothing about geomancy, but I just wanted you to take a look at the kit. I'm really excited to learn. I'm going to start with this book, and I think I'm going to find another book that um, will take me further. Um, I'm trying to think where you might be able to find uh, a channel where you can find more on geomancy. I would probably point you in the direction of Kelly Fitzgerald's channel, um, The Truth and Story. And if I can find anything, I'll link a video of hers um, in the description box as well. So that is it. Just a really quick overview. And if you found any value to this, please leave a like, uh, a comment in the description box below. Consider subscribing if you haven't already, all of which helps this very small channel grow and to keep coming with more videos. So with that, I will leave you until next time and you go on with your beautiful day. Bye for now.